Hello and welcome to another video from Mida Travel. My name is Dave. And I'm Mike. And today we are going to be talking to you about Morella's internet packages on their cruise ships. Uh, this is probably the biggest complaint that we would have about our Morella cruise. I think probably if you were in Europe with Morella, it wouldn't be such a big issue. But for us in the Caribbean, it was by far the biggest complaint. And Morella, you need to sort the internet and the internet packages out. Shall we have a look at the internet packages that you yeah. can purchase? Okay, so as you can see, we've got five different packages that they offer, um, all from different times and megabytes. Um, just be mindful, with whatever package you go with, um, it does also state the days on there. So for example, if you went for the 800 megabytes for 25 pound, you have to use those 800 megabytes within three days, otherwise they'll cut it off. We actually went for the 14 days, uh, 2.4 gigabyte um, package, uh, which should, or I thought with only being a light user, I tend to manage on about under two gig uh, when I'm home in the UK for the month. So I naively thought that that would probably do for most of the cruise. Um, but what happened, uh, was on the day of boarding, I activated the package at about 8 p.m. in the evening. Um, I did everything I should do. I turned off roaming. When I wasn't on the internet, I was turning off um, the Wi-Fi and putting it in airplane mode. So I really thought I was being as careful as possible. When I woke up at 8 o'clock the next morning, I went to get on the internet and my package had expired. I'd used it all in 12 or less than 12 hours. Shocking. So, of course, straight to customer service says to um, make a complaint um, to be greeted by some quite unhappy um, customer service representative, I think, anyway. Uh, and on stating so, she basically, basically blamed our phones. They're brand new iPhone 14s. Um, there was no issues. We were on data. Data was off. We, were on, uh, we had no um, mobile data going in the background so we couldn't understand why it was going and so many people on the cruise ship had the same problem um but of I, course i should say really that all i'd done in the time that i got the internet um we were away for a christmas cruise so it was really important to keep in touch with family and it was all i'd done was uploaded a few photographs to let them know we'd arrived safely I'd looked at a couple of internet pages to try and get some information about some of the ports we were going. So I really hadn't done anything major to sort of drain the, the usage. Yeah, and also with the, the internet, I've got to quickly say about the signal strength. So if you do have a package, no matter where you are on the ship, it's really hard sometimes to get signal. It's really weak in the rooms. Um, you have to go to specific areas to get um, a sort of a powerful signal. So even if we weren't using our phones, it was still draining it, even though we couldn't really get a signal. Um, but anyway, going back to the customer services, um, they did come up yeah. with an offer for, for us, yeah. you know, after our complaints. Yeah. The lady offered me a further same package, 14 days, for a reduced price of £50. Now, I said to her, hold on a moment, so that would make it £140 if the new package lasted as long, it would mean one day it cost me £140. Uh, and obviously I wasn't going to accept that. So I did stand my ground and eventually she agreed to give us a full refund. And other people we spoke to on the ship had the same problems. They complained. They also got a refund. So thank you, Morella, for that. You know, it took a while, but we got there in the end. But if you need internet, please do not despair because there are a few options for you. For example, the ports that we stop at. Now, Mike and I are going to tell you now some good ports and some bad ports uh, and also some other ways of getting some internet when you're there. So we'll start off with the good ports. Mike, tell me which ports we found were quite right. good. The ports that we found really good internet uh, were Costa Rica, Grand Cayman, Cartagena and Port Royal. There was one really bad one. Yeah, that was Montego Bay, unfortunately, where we where we started from and finished from. Uh, Montego Bay, whether it was the amount of human traffic through there, I don't know, but you just couldn't get on. And when you did get on, it was really weak. Um, it wasn't good at all compared to other ports that we've been to where it was really powerful. I think also it's like we, having had our packages sort of 
refunded, we were then in a position where we couldn't take another one out on the ship and wouldn't have wanted to anyway. Um, finding ports was really important and obviously we did make use of cafes when we were in certain um, destinations. But certainly we would say, Morella, it is a massive problem. People are a long way from home. Uh, for us, it was so important to have contact with family at home and you know they really need to sort this out because we were one of many many people that complained and i would seriously think if you are going on a morella cruise about instead of looking at their package see whether your phone provider will give you a package uh even if it's a little bit more than it would be with the morella package you're going to have much better value out of it yeah so when you're going on a cruise our top tip for you is to plan it, understand what ports are good, see if there's any cafes or bars that are on TripAdvisor, for example, to have good internet, go there, do what you need to do for half an hour, hour, buy a coffee, whatever, back to the cruise ship. Okay, I think that just about sums it up. So think seriously about the Morella packages, investigate with your own phone companies whether that would be a better option, and keep cruising and keep happy. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it's an informative video. If you liked it, please subscribe or hit the like button below. Um, that little bell as well will update you with our next videos and stuff. So be safe. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Goodbye.